Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel, and today we're jumping in some 500 NL cash games. Buying for this game is $500. Button open, small one flats, call the queen four suited, flop the queen high flush draw. Go for check. Uh, pots. Uh, gonna have to just over call here, bet and call. Turn six, check turn. That's half again. Go ahead and call. Uh, River flush. I think going to do some leading here with the four liner coming in too. Uh, I'm not sure what size this should be here, but we are going to lead for three quarters. And see the call, queen four, good. Getting paid on the end there, good versus ace eight, so I have the straights. Very, very fortunate run out. All right, hijack open, three bet aces. See the call, uh, king seven five. Go for small size. Turn eight. Um, going to bet again, but it gets a little bit closer here. Jam, so oh boy. Oh man, so this is nitty to fold. And like I said, the turn is actually even close. So the problem here though is like he can't have ace x of spades, which is the most obvious draw. He could be check jamming ace king, which then I would feel terrible, but obviously there's only two kings left in the deck. Um man. Gosh, this is so nitty. I want to fold this. Uh oh. so having the ace of spades is bad. Oh, this is so tight, guys. I almost checked turn two. Almost did it. Ah, man. So I don't think he's going to check jam king, queen, probably the only thing would be ace king if he is doing that here on the turn. Although he'll like check raise flop a lot of that if he flats pre. And obviously there's only two aces left in the deck. So I'm going to make a big fold of aces. We have only four players dealt in here, so this is a cutoff open or three betting queens from a small blinds. See the four bet where we jamming. Also kings, oh boy. King on the flop too. Brutal, brutal cooler if they're four-handed. Alright, open tens get three bet. We'll go ahead and flat here. And flop a set, king ten three. Love to see it. Beautiful. Uh, without a flush on board, I'm probably less inclined to check raise here. We'll probably go for check call. This is king 10 3 with a flush draw, I might raise. Uh, four spades turn check. Uh, so, depending on size, I might check jam this here. A little less likely to with a spade, actually. So, against pots. And combo draws. I think that this tens with a spade I'll call. If I had tens, no spade, I would check jam. And then six river. Don't love backdoor spades coming in again, but we have a blocker, so we would be calling his played. Let's see what happens. Hopefully we don't get shown the goods. Set of kings or a flush. Alright. Ace Jack for the bluff mister got shot perfect. Tens good, scoop a big pot there. Limp, raise queens, big blind calls pretty quickly. Back over to the limper here. Size of calls well, flop is set, very nice. I'll go ahead and bet the flop, middle set here, king, queen, three. Two calls, uh, king on the turn, nice. I'm trying to think what I want to do here. I think I'm gonna go check. Maybe just go bet bet. <sighs> Expecting one of these guys to have a king, because the problem is a heart can kill the action on the river. Uh, 
So against this player specifically, I'm actually going to raise really small. This is a super exploit. So to the point that they will call, even with their draws. I should have just bet the turn myself. And then they're not going to fold a king, and I think they're going to call good rivers. So again, this is like super exploit. They call five river, and just going to jam for pot here. Or it's under pot, sorry, we only have 303 back. But we'll go for the jam. Snap calls, has king eight. Let's go stack the king eight there. Like I said, in hindsight, I wish I would just bet turn and then bet rivers, but ends up working out. Very small one, big one calls. I didn't realize how short they were, else I wouldn't have raised the big. Eight of the turn, I turn the open under. I'm just going to rip here, hoping they fold. <laughs> They're like right at pot. Snap calls, queen eight, so they turn two pair. We're not going to get there with our draw. Jam it all in, doesn't work out. We have aces next hand, though. So they flat, jack seven, six, a little bit half pot. All, uh, three on the turn, especially when they're shorter, we're just gonna be betting for sure. Go half pot again. And then six river. Um, we do lose to six, but I think we still target like a jack on the end. Valley jam, snap folds. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go for the cold four here. These are pretty strong ranges. So this goes under the gun open, hijack three bet, we cold four button. And cold five bets. So I'm just going to assume we need to ditch a lot here and pocket jacks included, as sad as it is. There we go. Wow, rejam. Aces and kings? Exactly? See, ace king and ace king. Wow, it was off. Wow, we could have gotten in the flip. I still think we like the fold, but ace king, ace king. We fold jacks. All right, is this the hand we get Dom? Dom opens the button. We three bet aces. Falls. Nine, seven, three. I'm going to go for the check aces with the ace of diamonds. Mix this in every now and then to protect my check range in these spots. Best time to do it is like aces and kings with the diamonds. Uh, so we're going to go check call. Uh, jack turn check. So I might check jam this turn. Because there's some bad... Eh, maybe not, because I can call down any on 10 or 8. Even diamond I'd call down on. Uh, he bets. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep the bluffs in and just call here. Just don't put a 10 or 8 or jack up, please. Ooh, top set. Love it. Check. If he jams here, it's actually an incredible slow roll spot. Because this actually looks like a tough spot for me. Yes. Oh, man, this is going to be good. I swear, if this dude turns over 10-8 suited, I'm quitting the stream, for the record, by the way. So we're going to go into the tank here. Really think about our decision with aces. Really think about this one. Oh man, this one he act like I slow rolled him once before, but it was like a spot where it's like kind of seemed like slow roll can be reasonable. This is a pretty unexpected one. All right, we'll call it 23. And he has the bluff. Dang it, Dom. Good try. Good try. Almost folded. Almost folded. Limp, button raise, three bet jacks from the big line. Player rips. Um, I would fold tens. I think call jacks here. This limp jam does feel like it can just be aces sometimes, but uh, if Declan gets in, we'll fold. If he folds, I think this is the bottom of our calling range. Ace king and jacks plus. Sometimes people these stat lines will start doing weird stuff with middling pairs. So like I said, I think we just have to call. But I'm not shocked if we get shown like aces, kings, or queens here. Uh, shows the aces. That's pretty tilting. Spade, spade. Nope. All right. They got quads on the turn, so. Anyways, given their stat line, maybe we should be making a crazy fold. I don't know, but without knowing how it's going, sometimes like people with those stat lines do crazy things. They're going to have ace-king there some. So fold tens, get in jacks, unfortunately lose. So open kings get called 7-3-3 check. Uh, decides the bet. I'm not sure if I should have check raises here or not. I think we're going to. So I 
Don't think you should have much 3x here, so we're really worried about pocket 7s and then ace 3 suited exactly. So I do think we get to check raise this for value. Calls a turn. Pot the turn for value. Jack River. So unless he has 10 9 of clubs, I don't think he has much of it here. And even that might get really aggressive on turn. So I think I'm just going to overbet rip for value. Or do I check call for miss club draws? Yeah, I'm actually going to bluff catch here. Change my mind. All right. Hope he doesn't have a boat. Oh, 10 9 of clubs. He did have it. Shoot. That's so frustrating. Oh, right at the end of our session. I want to take a look at the hand. I think we played it all right. I think we get to check raise flop, bet turn, and then try to bluff catch river. Oh, so tilting, so tilting. So I think free flop, he's going to three bet jacks quite a bit. Doesn't seem as likely. Mainly worried about eights full, sevens full, and ace three there. And then we have kings, no clubs, so we unblock clubs if he decides to blast off. I mean, in theory, he probably doesn't want clubs to bluff, but it's hard to find tons of bluffs there, so sometimes people start throwing us in. Uh, so anyways, man, I was going to book a winning session <laughs> right until that hand there. That's too bad. So I want to take a look at it. But not 100% sure. All right, YouTube, that wraps up a winning streak crushing loss here. I shouldn't say crushing. Small loss today, but it does end our streak. So played 2,663 hands, loss of 97. Um, the HUD did not catch some hands where I think we lost an additional 140. So I'll have to check back before I post the next session stats, but I think we lost about 230 today. So hope you at least enjoyed the hands and the video today. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to catch the live streams on Twitch, I have a link to my Twitch channel in the description below.